Hi guys, today is slightly different setting uh, than the usual. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here quickly to give you an update because I think it's quite urgent and I got a lot of questions from you regarding the uh, possible sanctions on Russian-owned banks. And uh, as you know, one of my favorite apps, Revolut, is uh, kind of linked to a Russian owner because actually the CEO, his father, is uh, Russian. And not just Russian, but actually working for one of the big uh, Kremlin-owned companies. So that's why a lot of people are worried. Uh, might I lose my money having it in Revolut? Um, so yeah, I just want to clarify this and uh, what I think about it and what I will do about it actually. So uh, in essence, yes, that's correct. Uh, the CEO's father is actually an engineer seemingly in one of the big Russian companies. Let's be honest, I think a lot of companies actually at some stage have Russian owners in it. So it doesn't mean that they're automatically gonna get uh, blacklisted or uh, banned or sanctioned. Um, now, if you think that's not good for you because of moral reasons, then that's a different story. Um, but I think personally, um, just by what they've done and, and, and their links, because don't forget they're based in the uh, UK and actually uh, Lithuania where they're registered. So they have no obvious ties to Russia. So I don't think that they're actually gonna go ahead and ban them because technically they're not operating in Russia. So I don't think there's any threat to your money. In fact, the co-founder is actually Ukrainian and I really admire what they've done. They actually took a very strong stance against Russia and condemned uh, what they're doing in Ukraine. So I really applaud that and actually they are encouraging their users to donate and they would be matching the total amount collected to send it to Ukraine in support. So I really feel they're doing the best they can. Of course, you know, I think a lot of companies are in one way or the other linked to Russian owners. Uh, you know, you're not going to sell your BMW because they also have Russian shareholders, right? Um, so it's, it's a personal preference what i will do however are three things so number one i'm going to keep my revolute account because so far i don't see any sanction uh, happening and uh, personally i don't actually keep a lot of money in there i just have a couple of hundred euros just to transact uh, in case i need to send money somewhere or, or what have you but usually i don't really have much money in my account so uh, i don't think that's going to be an issue secondly one thing i may consider is actually getting rid of my premium plan because uh, as i've been using now more and more uh, crypto.com uh, I'm, I'm having less and less need for uh, having the premium plan so that's technically one of the reasons why i may consider to change back to the free version uh, but i'm just going to see how much i uh, you know uh, exchange money because for traveling is still the best but it does have a certain limit when it comes to exchanging your money so i will see if i stay under that i will definitely go back to the free plan because there's no reason for me to pay for that so the one thing i will be changing though is that i'm going to sell out of my stocks from revolut because not just because of the situation uh, of revolut in general because like, as i said i feel quite uh, confident that uh, there's not going to be any issues for them i just want to have one broker for all my stocks and as you know i started using interactive brokers more and more and I just feel it's a more complete program for a bit more serious investor so um yeah well i think revolut is great to get started um definitely i think uh, if you're looking more long term and more serious um interactive brokers is the way to go and that's why i'm going to be selling out of uh, revolut close my positions there but definitely i'm going to keep my uh, account as it is so i hope this was useful for you uh, as i said i'm not planning to close my revolut and i think neither should you uh, don't get worried uh, unless it's for moral reasons um, but overall i think there's nothing wrong with revolut uh, on the contrary it's still an amazing app and platform to get started to travel to use it as an exchange rate and if you want to learn more about it and get a full a breakdown of how to use the app check out the video over here where i'm going to run you through how to use the app let me know how you found this kind of video and if i should do more of those uh, yeah i think it's interesting to combine uh, vlogging with the finance financial vlogging uh, so let me know if you want to see more of those kind of uh, impromptu episodes and videos i'm more than happy to do those and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe it really helps out we're soon hitting the 1k so please help me get there faster really appreciate the support and watching it have a beautiful day everybody stay healthy get wealthy and i'll see you in the next one ciao ciao